I think that the problem most people have, first of all, is setting their defaults in their browser to tell the computer where you want to save your files. So I'm going to show you in the two most popular browsers in both on both a PC and on a Mac. Okay, so this is Chrome. To get to your settings on Chrome, you need to click the icon over here on the far right and then choose settings. You won't see a choice for downloads here. You need to click show advanced settings, move all the way down the screen, and then you're going to see downloads is over here. So by default, your computer is going to save to your downloads folder. That may not be where you want to save all your downloads. I don't because I have an external hard drive that I put them all on. I don't want them taking up space on my main drive. So if you want to change the location, click the change button and then choose where you want them saved. So in my case, it's on my network. It's going to take a second. And it's going to be on VMware host, which is because I'm using a virtual environment where I've got Windows displayed on my Mac. So I'm going to choose my three terabyte data drive and my downloads folder. That's where all my downloads go. Okay. And you can see now that I have set that here as my setting. Or you can also tell it to ask you where to save every single file that you're downloading. So let's say you want to put music in one place. You want to put pictures in another place. You want to put cutting files in yet another place. So you can tell your browser, ask me where to save each file before downloading. If I change this to tell, to set it so that it asks me where I want to save my files. And then I close out of settings and I'm in one of my Facebook groups. I'm going to download this file. It doesn't matter which file, just any file. Now it displays the Windows Explorer and you can now choose exactly where you want to download this file. You can put it in Dropbox, in whatever folder you want. Then remember where you've put it and go there when you want to find it, when you want to open it. And you would click the save button and it would save it there. Okay, so I'm going to start up Firefox. So in Firefox, I would choose tools, options, and this very first screen lets you choose where to save your downloads. It's the same idea. You can have it set to always ask you where to save the files, or you can tell it to save files to a specific place. It can be downloads, which is the default. Downloads on your main drive is what it's talking about. It, that can be your default location. That's fine. If you know to go to your downloads folder all the time to get whatever you've downloaded, that's fine. But if you want to change that, this is where you would do this. You would tell it, always ask me where to save files, and then it will always ask you. So that's the same type of thing in Firefox. Now I'm going to start up Chrome for Mac. And I'm going to show you the same thing on the Mac side. So in Chrome, you would click Chrome Preferences, click Show Advanced Settings, browse down quite far until you see Downloads. And it's exactly the same process. If you want to choose a specific location, click the Change button. If you want it to, to ask you every time, click this button. So that's it for Chrome. And for Firefox, I'm not going to set this as my default browser. So in Firefox, you click the thing with Mac versus Windows is that you're going to find the same commands in the same places in whatever program you're using. It's not going to be different. So in Firefox, it's going to again be under preferences. And again, on the Mac side as well, this is in your very first screen. This is where you choose where your downloads will go. You can either save to a specific place. The default is downloads. I haven't changed it here because this isn't my default browser. Or you could change it to always ask you where to save files. That's the thing with Mac and Windows these days. A lot of the stuff is very similar. When you have certain things in a browser uh, between Firefox and Chrome, they're going to be practically identical. For those of you who are using Safari on the Mac, it's the same idea. Click Safari, then Preferences. So here 
you choose Save Downloaded Files to. You would click Other if you want to change to something other than your Downloads folder, and then you would make your choice here. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure to subscribe to my channel to get lots more computer tips.